Hare Krishna. So, how I came to Krishna Consciousness? So, <clears throat> I was a student in MIT College in Pune. I was doing my engineering. So, when I was in second year of my engineering, um, I was attending some Bhagavad Gita classes in our college, in MIT College. <clears throat> I had a lot of in- interest in mind control, hypnotism, and I used to read a lot of books regarding this. So I had uh, quite a bit of interest in these things. Mm -hmm. And when somebody told that Bhagavad Gita classes are going on in our uh, MIT college, so I was very much fascinated by that also. So I started regularly going and uh, I was attending, but not so much impressed, not much uh, I was benefiting practically. Then once one boy came, to our room and he said we also conduct some Bhagavad Gita classes along with we also teach mind control techniques art of mind control and he showed me some books and then I was very much fascinated something about mind control I was always fascinated and Bhagavad Gita so immediately I said I will come and when I went there <coughs> there was some flat nearby to our college only there I started going regularly and when I went there first time I saw some brahmachari sitting and speaking um, about uh, art of mind control. Hmm? That was uh, Radha Shampro's book, Discover Yourself, from that he was speaking. So I was very much you know, enlivened by the atmosphere there. And more than the uh, philosophy or uh, more uh, than the logic by which that brahmachari was explained, I was very much attracted by the culture which was there amongst those people who were there so I observed that these devotees they are so humble they are so submissive they are so kind and that kind of love they gave me that completely melted me and once I just saw one devotee he we had all kept our chappal shoes outside our flat that where the program is to go and the program started, about to start, and that one devotee who was there, he picked up everybody's chappals in his hands, you know, and took it, brought it, and kept in inside the flight at one place. And I was shocked, can somebody else touch somebody else, you know, chappal or like that? I was really shocked, I never saw somebody doing like that. And that melted my heart, I thought, these devotees are out of the world. And they used to give, feed me so much, you know. I used to like this sweet rice and every time when I used to come I would look when the sweet rice will come. And they would feed me so much and give so much love and care. So basically more more than philosophy, I was very much attracted by their uh, kind love and especially prasadam. And then some one of the devotees asked me, you can stay with us also. We are here three four devotees and you know we have a nice flat. So I said wonderful. Then I shifted there. I was staying with some materialist people and they were very much, you know, they said, once you go, then you are no more our friend. I said, okay, whatever. And then I came and I was staying with them. And slowly, slowly then as we are we are staying, regular program, then we were arranging. First, I was coming as a guest, but now we used to arrange programs for others. And then slowly, slowly, uh, I came in touch with Murari Prabhu and uh, you know, Shankar Pandit Prabhu and uh, Chaitanya Charan Prabhu and they guided me in my spiritual life and thus my spiritual life started, my Krishna Consciousness started. Hare Krishna.